Hello friends, this is Russian Torts here and welcome to the second episode in my new series called Tortoise Enclosures. In this episode we're going to be talking about tortoise tables and I'm going to be talking all about that in just a second. If you're interested in seeing the start of the series where we talked about glass enclosures, just click at the link at the bottom of the screen and that will take you straight to the old video. You can check it out, see what you missed because in my opinion, it's important to watch all of these videos so that you can compare the different types of enclosures that I'm talking about. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. Just like last time, I will first tell you what I consider to be a tortoise table. Any open-topped enclosure built out of wood, to me, is a tortoise table. It doesn't matter if the table has legs or no legs, what kind of wood it's made out of, to me, it's all a tortoise table. You might say a table needs legs, but it doesn't affect the inside of the enclosure, which is what is important when we're talking about tortoise enclosures. So let's get started with the cons, just like we did with the glass terrariums last time. The first con, in my opinion, is due to the fact that tortoise tables are made out of wood. Unlike plastic or glass, wood is a naturally occurring material and therefore decomposes relatively quickly. Enclosures, tortoise tables, are often made out of untreated plywood, which breaks down more quickly than, for example, treated hardwood, especially when it gets moist. A lot of tortoise keepers like to make their enclosures out of this plywood due to its price and size. However, plywood is especially susceptible to moisture, like I just mentioned, and if left untreated, which is what I do with my tortoise table, it should only be used with species that like it dry, like Russian tortoises and sulcatas. Even then, you need to put at least a plastic pond liner at the bottom of the enclosure to prevent the slightly moist substrate from rotting the wood. You can also buy a non-toxic, water-repelling paint to treat the plywood with, but this obviously increases the price tag of your enclosure. However, this is sometimes necessary if you're dealing with tropical species like redfoots, for example, and if you're de dealing with juvenile tortoises who require a higher humidity. If you decide to build your own tortoise table, you also need to have access to at least a few tools. Screwdrivers are a must, and if you want to prevent splitting the wood, you should also use a drill to pre-drill the holes that you're going to put the screws in. Most large hardware stores will cut your wood to size, but their cuts are not very accurate. The one I go to, for example, has a one inch margin of error. So if that is an issue to you, you should also need a saw to cut the wood more precisely. You also need to be comfortable working on the enclosure yourself. While not a lot of skill is required, which I can say based on the fact that I managed to build my own enclosure, not everyone is comfortable working with wood, so that's something you need to consider before you get started. If you opt to buy a tortoise table set that is already pre-manufactured and only requires you to screw the enclosure together, in my opinion you're, you're dealing with the same problems as with a glass enclosure. Pre-manufactured tortoise tables are expensive and only come in certain sizes, so this eliminates the whole appeal of having a tortoise table, which in my opinion is that they are cheap and can be built to any dimension you want. Tortoise tables, another con, at least if you build them for your first time, are also not going to win a beauty contest. They can be really ugly and the non-see-through walls will cause you to be less able to interact with your pet. You can definitely make tortoise tables look good and I've seen some great examples of tortoise tables where I was like, wow, I wish mine would look that great. But this will require more skill, time, money, and effort on your part. The last con that I could think of is that tortoise tables, because they are made out of wood, can also catch fire fairly easily. This is not a problem you would have with glass enclosures because glass doesn't burn, it just melts. Again, this is more an issue with the untreated plywood than with treated hardwood, but it is a pretty important issue if you consider that the fire will kill your pet. However, if like me, you already use cypress mulch or another flammable substrate, you already run that risk because lights can fall off their holdings and into the substrate 
anyway, no matter if it's a wooden enclosure or a glass enclosure. So at this point, you might as well take the risk. So that's it with the cons. As you can see, quite a lot of cons, and you're going to see it's more cons than pros. But tortoise tables are still my favorite kind of indoor tortoise enclosure. And I personally think that the pros that are there much outweigh the cons. The biggest pro, in my opinion, is the fact that tortoise tables can be made in a very cheap fashion. My tortoise enclosure, which is only 4 feet by 4 feet, so it's not that big, cost me around $100 Canadian. Glass enclosures that size, first of all, do not exist. And if you would make it custom, it would be a lot more expensive. Furthermore, the price for my tortoise table could have been reduced if I didn't put in put down any legs. This is because putting on legs required me to do some special bracing so that the plywood would not break in half. So it required me to buy a lot of extra wood. And without that, I would have been definitely been able to build the table for under $50. Alongside Alongside this great price tag, you can also make the tortoise table any size you want it to be. This is great because it gives you the opinion over glass the option over glass enclosures to actually create a humane sized enclosure for your tortoise. For Russian tortoises, for example, it is impossible to find a glass terrarium which is eight foot by four foot in size. But this is easily achievable with plywood, which conveniently comes in eight foot by four foot sheets. If you have an outside enclosure already and do not want to use a lot of space inside to build your tortoise enclosure, so if for example you're a college student like me, or a university student here in Canada actually, and don't have a lot of space in your room, you can also make a smaller indoor enclosure out of wood, which is not going to cost you a lot of money. And another creative thing I've seen for people that build wooden enclosures and they don't have a lot of space, they actually use multiple layers in their enclosure. They give their tortoise three floors to explore and that way the tortoise still has a lot of area to roam but you're not using a lot of area in your house. Finally, last pro, tortoise tables can also be disassembled which makes transport much easier than with glass terrariums. Glass terrariums pretty much need to fit through the door to your room which limits the size of the potential enclosure. For tortoise tables, all you need to do is be able to fit the separate pieces of material through the door, which allows you to build a much larger enclosure. You can essentially build an enclosure as large as you want it to be. So in the end, I know it seems like I listed a lot more cons than pros, but to my, in my opinion, most of the cons are neg negligible. Tortoise enclosures do not need to look good. They, do, they just need to be functional. The fact that wood decomposes does not really matter, I think, because most likely you're going to change your tortoise's enclosure multiple times during its lifespan. Let's say you move and you have a different area in your house for your tortoise where the old enclosure doesn't fit, you're just going to build it a new one. And enclosures are fairly easy to build. Me, with my very, very, very limited carpentry experience, managed to build a Frankenstein enclosure, so I think you could do it too. If Let's say you're 10 years old and you don't want to be carrying these really heavy 8 feet by 4 feet um, plywood sheets. Just ask your parents for help. If you're older, like my age, ask a friend, buy them a beer. Or if you're under the legal drinking age, buy them an apple juice. And just get a friend with tools and they can help you build the enclosure. I just think the ability to build an enclosure any size you want is a huge pro. And it's also very cheap. Wood is not an expensive resource. You just need a few tools. So in my opinion, these are some of the best tortoise enclosures you can build. All right, and that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you agree with my opinions. But if you don't agree with my opinions, please let me know in the comment section below. I am by no means an expert, and I would love to hear your opinions on this topic. Furthermore, if you are a tortoise owner and you own a Mediterranean tortoise or any tortoise that eats vegetation, which is most of them, and you are interested in winning some food for them, I'm going to put a link at the bottom of this video. I'm also going to put it in the description, which takes you to a contest that I'm actually having right now to win some tortoise food. So far, only three people entered and there's only about a week left. So if you're interested in winning some tortoise food, 
I would invite you to click on that link because it's really easy to enter. All you have to do is make a little video about your pet and let me know in the comment section below that video. So you don't have a lot of time left, but I would encourage you to enter because it's more fun to me when more people enter. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said before, these are going to be uploaded on a weekly basis. So this video is going to be uploaded on a Friday. Next video is going to be uploaded on next Friday and so on. So I can give you guys a little bit more of a consistent schedule. Again, I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, show it to your friends. Anything helps. And I will see you guys next time.